Hey everybody, I got another fun box in from Adorn It. Let's take a look. All right, there's a whole big box of paper goodies here that we're gonna get to in a minute. But first, I wanna show you these amazing kits. I mean, just look how cool they are. All right, I'm gonna open up each one individually to show you what it's all about. Okay, so this is a design, a, plus, a blessed wood pack. It's got all the pieces in it. It's got the instructions about what you're supposed to do. You measure the wood between the slats, measure the cut brown paper, foot it, you know, it's got everything. It's got all the different products in there for the papers. So you get the blessed piece, you get the wood piece, and then you get the back piece. And it's all this very farmhouse, rustic, super cool. And it's again kind of one of those things that you can take it in any direction you want to. If you don't want to make it exactly that they show on here, you don't have to. It's really cool. And so the papers that you get with it, you can do the background, make the paper flowers, do all that. It is really pretty. This one's a mustard pixie dots, and here's larger dots on this side. They have in the description where you're using the small dots for this frame. So what you do is you like decoupage the whole thing, you place the paper, and then you sand the edges off. It's really simple. We're going to be making some of these very shortly in another video. So heads up on that. But, you know, I'm going to add my little crafty twist to it and not do exactly. You also have a whole bunch of other papers that you can kind of play around with and do what you want. So look how pretty that is. Here is another one that you can play around with. It's got a couple of different options in here, too. Very fun. And then look at this pretty paper. It's got a nice muted tone on this side. And look at the stripes on that side. Very cool. Beige chevron. And here is a beige damask. Look how pretty. So gorgeous. So what they've used this paper for right here is actually the part that would go on the wooden slat. So you have a nice dark thing. And then you can paint this or leave this just plain. It's kind of up to you. And then the cream papers are meant to use to make the flowers. That's how you make those little flowers. So you can change it up and have different arrangements. And obviously you can add a whole bunch of other fun ideas to this. So that is a super cute kit. So this kit is called the Blessed Wood Plaque. Oh, this one's so adorable. This one's all about pumpkins, perfect for fall or for Halloween, but definitely an autumn vibe to this. So you've got lots of big pieces. So these big giant MDF pumpkins are so cool, which means they actually can rest on their own. I mean, they're big enough to stand. And when you put the two together, because you end up gluing them, they will balance just fine without having to have any kind of extra help to that. So that is amazing. I love that. So you have these two pumpkins and you're given a whole bunch. Again, it tells you exactly what to do, but you don't have to follow identically what they've got going on. You can play with that. For the little leaves that they have here and for the heart, they have it as being a painted item. So you could paint them and then you could leave them raw. It's up to you. I mean, there's so much fun stuff. And then they've given you a bunch of twine that you can go in and add like a layer of twine up at the top. So very cool. This is called the pumpkin wood sitters. Now, the cool thing about this pickup truck is it's got lots of these fun layers, but let's say you don't want to make it super like you're just like okay, enough of fall. You want to turn this to Christmas. You could totally turn this into Christmas if you add a few of your own little pieces. You leave out the pumpkins for sale and you leave out the pumpkins and you can totally turn this into like you could add Christmas trees to the back. So I'm debating what I want to do with this if I want to do that. So with this, you get your truck and then you also get all your pieces. So this is the piece that would come up onto the back of the truck. And then you've got your tires. So you're going to color those in. You can either use paper for that or you can paint them. Then you have the top of the tire. I love all these pieces that you can just layer in and have a blast. Kind of, you got to clean up a little bit of the edges on these. You've got another small piece that you add into here. I mean, look how cute this is. And then you have all these pumpkins that you can rest into here. So you have all these pumpkins, but again, you could change that up a little bit and you could totally do like Christmas trees instead. Now they have two extra little pumpkins that they had resting into, look at that, in the tires. So adorable. And that uses all that piece up. But now look at this. This is an awesome stencil that you could use. These little pumpkins, you can use them as stenciling. So that's pretty fun. And then along here, you have the pumpkins for sale. That's adorable. Now, what papers do they use where? The main background of the truck they have as this really pretty burgundy paper. And it's called Family Forever Family Portrait. And the back side of that is really pretty. I mean, you could really kind of go either way, but I think it's meant to be used for that paper right there. And then we have this, this is Wicked Dots. 
but on the back side, it's just got a really pretty orange. And so that's some of the orange they're using for the pumpkins. So, or you could paint it, it's your call. Then we have another orange, this one's called Orange Chevron. And it's got another orange here. So you get two different oranges that you can play with. This is one paper to help you cover up your pumpkins. Then you have this really pretty, it's called Family Wordplay. And this is what they use on the tops of the tires. And they're pulling papers that go super well together and vibe really well on this. They kind of did all the hard work for how to design this project for you, which was amazing. I love that. This right here is the piece that you're using for the wood piece up top. So you basically cut it down to be about the size, decoupage it on there, and then you use an X-Acto knife and a... Um, a sander to kind of make sure that all the pieces get in place so that goes there and then the last one for the tires is this one which I think is so genius this paper is perfect it looks like tires and that's what you use on this big circle right there but again you could totally paint it too so you can have all kinds of fun with that and you can do a mixture of some paper some paint you can mix and match a lot of that so these are such cool projects that you can play around with I love it so cute. All right, so now we're getting into the other papers that are in here. So let's take a look and see what these are all about. Oh my goodness, so much Christmas. I love it. Okay, so we have these really big thick stickers, and these are all about Christmas stickers. Merry and bright and Christmas cheer. Gorgeous, big, thick stickers. I love that stuff. So pretty. Okay, next we have Christmas is in the air everywhere. I love it. Big, thick Christmas colors. Gorgeous couple of different fun Christmas stickers that are on here, all from Adornit. So gorgeous. All right. Then we have our uh, art play principles. These are the season's greetings. I mean, look how adorable these are. They're so cute. And the little tags are right here. Perfect for you to watercolor in or to color in yourself, however you want. Now look at these. These are like just begging to go on Christmas cards. So simple and fast. So gorgeous. Holiday cheer. Oh, look at the adorable papers. And look, you could totally cut this out and make this into a card and just so it's already got all the linings. I mean, it's just begging to make it into a card or a really cute scrapbook page, a couple of pictures up here and boom, you're done. Here we have, this is the same paper. So we have a whole bunch of vertical lines and then the coordinating one says, ho, 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 ho. And this one's called a Santa scallop. Oh, look how pretty. I love this rich red. So gorgeous. This one is called Shopper's Delight Holly Jolly Collection. And look at the back side. Look at all the pretty presents. So adorable. All right. On this side, we have uh, December Cut Apart. So big, long paper, lots of sections you can cut apart. And then on the back side, you have even more that you can cut apart and make some beautiful pages with that. Very pretty yellow. Christmas craze on the back side. Look at all the fun little pieces that you can cut out. All these little cute little doodads that you can get. Adorable. Pretty paper. I mean, look how gorgeous these papers are. Ho, ho, ho. Holly Jolly Collection Mix and Mingle. A couple of really cool candy stripe pages that have a little bit of distressing on the edges. Oh, look at these dots. That is a cool background paper. I love that. Zippy Stripes. <laughs> That's a cute name. Really cool poinsettia paper. Very elegant looking. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that. I love how it's got the little dangly things coming off, the little filigree. Super cool. And the lines on there, so fun. Christmas journal. And you could so cut this apart and use this as part of a journal. These are I Believe Swirls. Now, all these ones I'm not showing you the other side because they're one-sided papers. Over here, oh, look, this would be really good if you're going to do like a December daily because each of the numbers are already cut out. So another fun way of doing that. Or let's say you're doing like a advent calendar or something and you need 25 numbers. This could be an awesome page for that too. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. That's what this says. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all the different Christmas carols. Here we have December word play. Look how pretty these are. And on the back side, this is a two-sided. Look how gorgeous. So pretty. And then here, oh, look at all these stripes. This is a single-sided. You can cut that apart. You can leave them. You can just cut out the stripes. Jingle bells, look how cute. Jingle all the way. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. That's let it snow, let it snow. Stitched snowflakes, very pretty. Oh, look at the start. Now this is something that you could use for a lot of different, but it definitely has that Christmasy vibe. Love the colors on that too. It's very, it's very subdued and subtle and just, just really cool. Here is another holiday countdown paper. Holly Jolly countdown. These are more like fun and funky and just a little more, what I would call like, I don't know, just 
just fun. The other ones are a little bit more elegant, um, and these ones definitely have like a fun vibe. So lots of options for depending on what is your style. And then look at this pretty one. Red du jour. <laughs> Red of the day. Happy holiday is a one-sided paper. Very pretty. Swirly wishes. Very pretty. There's a lot of paper they sent me. All right. Star Jazz. This is part of the Holly Jolly, Holly Jolly Collection. Look how fun. Look how cool. There's so many cool I'm going to be making a lot of Christmas cards, so I'm happy to have all these papers because I am going to be going crazy with Christmas cards this year. All right, here we have Christmas potpourri, and on the back side, that's where you kind of get the idea. Lots of fun stuff. You get a bunch of strips that you can go through, lots of cool colors, words that you can cut out, lots of fun stuff here. Oh, look at the Rudolph paper. So cute. Reindeer games. Prancer, Vixen. <laughs> That's adorable. So cute. Christmas wishes. A couple of sheets of that. Look at all the fun words on here. That's cool. Got all the elements. Very like old fashioned toys or traditional toys. Very cool. Snowman word. Snowman word. Sorry. Snowman word. That's cute. So the snowman's on one side and on the opposite side, you've got winter. I mean, it's perfect for putting like a couple of pictures on here or you could just cut parts of this stuff out. I mean, it definitely already has kind of the design done for you, which I think is cool. And then you can mix and match with a little bit of some of the other page on the back side. This is one that's already cut up into four pieces. That's really cool. And on the back side, you have a whole bunch of lines. You can add strips. So it really makes it easy to make projects with that. And then it's like the project life papers, snowman cut apart. Look at that, look how cute those are. And they thought ahead. So since this is a square here, it's a square here. So if you just cut one piece out, you're not messing up the entire sheet and messing up the other side. So all the ones that are more linear, they have like what I would call the four by six size versus the four by four size. They work perfectly together. So, oh my goodness, all the funness that we're gonna be having here, playing with all these fun things between the three different wood kits that we're getting, all the fun papers that I have for Christmas and winter and the stickers. I have more than enough projects that to keep me busy. Yay! And I'm going to be making a ton of Christmas cards because I have my Christmas cards com swap coming up. So I got to make 50 cards. I got some done, but I got to get a whole lot more. So these papers are so going to help me in making some amazing cards. Links for all the supplies, as much as I can find, are going to be down below. Therefore, you guys can find them. And thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button too. That's how you get notifications of new videos. I pop up every time I make one. So thanks so much for stopping by. See you guys later. Bye-bye.